Welcome to my channel, Emma Jane's Garden. So today is the wrapping video, as promised. So let's go and wrap a bouquet. So what do we need to wrap a bouquet? Okay, so this is the way I do it. Um, so I use two pieces of tissue paper. Um, I've got craft paper on a roll um, and scissors. Making sure that the area you're doing it in is dry, which I've realised I've got a bit of damp on that bit, but that will dry out as fine. Um, so always make sure, either have a, a different table or make sure you dry your table completely before you start wrapping. Or wrap, do this bit before you make the bouquet and then you don't have to do this afterwards. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we've got the tissue paper going to I've got two bits of tissue paper here so I'm going to fold them both up at the same time so we can do, do both at the same time and you're just going to make sure that you've got the two peaks like this so four peaks sorry so you've got one two three four okay um, and then you're just going to smooth that out and then in the middle so from this bit down you're going to make a cut like this. Okay. And how far you go up with your cut means how far it will sit. So this will be the point that it's going to sit around the flowers. So if you go further up, it will sit further and the flowers will sit higher. The lower you go, the lower the flowers are into the tissue. So I'm going to go about halfway. I've got quite a low one, so I'm just going to go a little bit higher. Um, and then you're going to fold these edges back. They don't need taping or anything. So you've got that shape. And then you're going to put that to one side. And then we're going to get the... craft paper out. And you're going to need about... I'm trying to work this out on my table that length. <laughs> um, 50 centimetres approximately. Approximately. You'll get used to it once you start wrapping. You'll just see it by eye and you won't need to measure it or anything. So you need two of those because we've got two pieces of tissue paper. Measure them against each other. one side and then we're going to do the same with these so we're going to go upwards I always go this way you can go this way which just makes it um, a lower bouquet but I've tried it this way and I don't like the look quite so much so I go this way and then we're going to go up against and we're going to make our peaks again so we've got the four one two three four Find your middle, which is this bit again, going down, and then we're going to cut up. Remembering what I didn't do, I just realised with the tissue paper is to pull them apart once you've done that. Pieces. I'm just going to take the tissue apart because I put both in at the same place. So you've got your four bits like this. And then you're ready for your flowers. So this is our lovely bunch of flowers that we've got here. So it's lovely um, spring um, bouquet here full of tulips, forget me nots. We've got some willow, um, we've got some um, cherry blossom, and I've actually got some um, blackcurrant, um, which smells 
lovely. Um, so it's just black currant leaves and they're just coming out. So once they get into someone's heated house, they'll come out and the smell of black currant will be lovely. Um, so yeah, we've got some daffodils in there as well. So that's a lovely mix. That daffodil, so cute. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it upside down. This won't damage the flowers, do not worry. And then what we're gonna do is, make sure you've got tape on hand, which I haven't. So we've got the tape. Um, and we're going to wrap it completely upside down the whole time. Oh, and that's going to go windy. So where we've put the V, we're going to put it around the flowers like this. And just bring it around on it on itself. We're going to need a tiny little bit of tape, not very much. Just to stick the two pieces together like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to overlap this, but we're going to put it slightly, not exactly the opposite side, but slightly to the side, because then you'll see the peak still. So kind of like quarter of the way, just over. And then you'll see you've still got all your peaks. Okay, otherwise they just go over each other. A little bit of tape again. Okay. And then we're going to go in with this one. And again, we're going to do another quarter turn and put this one on. Exactly the same way. And if it doesn't quite meet at the bottom, that's fine. And just a tiny little bit of tape again. You don't need much tape at all because all you're doing is just making sure that they attach to each other. You can use paper tape as well, but I find the paper tape doesn't stick as well. So this is the only... The only bit of uh, non-recyclable um, packaging that is used on my on my bouquets, and it's purely because it's the only thing I can find, which is why I use a tiny little bit. Know if you can see a really small amount. Okay, and then a quarter turn again, and then we've got the next one going on, and then that should have all the peaks. Just check. So we're going to. You can see I need a peak here. So I I've got a mirror here. I use a mirror quite a lot. So I can see what's going on, so I know I need to put one of the peaks over there. Bit of tape again. And that's the wrapping done. Just pull up any bits that are hanging down. And that's your bouquet wrapped. And then you can just pull it in at the bottom here a little bit if you want to. And you can put some raffia around the bottom or some string or even some wool I use sometimes. Um, I'm actually going to put some ribbon around this one. Um, but yeah, so that's your flowers wrapped. So I put a little bit of ribbon on here. I'm just going to take off this little bit of raffia that's going around. Oops, I'm going so I'll just put a little bit of ribbon on there and then don't forget to put your branding on so always make sure you brand everything that you've got oh I think I've moved the camera um, so I always put a little sticker on so I'm going to put it on one of the brown bits or one of the craft paper so it's got my name on it you can see where I came from and I always add my care card as well which has got is got my business card on the front and then it's got the care card on the back and then I always just pop that in with the flowers as well and that is it so that is how I wrap my flowers um, give it a go let me know how you get on um, wrapping is a real practice makes perfect thing um, wrapping is difficult it's one thing that no one teaches you and wrapping is difficult there's a loads of different ways to do it i've just found this is the easiest and quickest way for me um there's i do plenty of different ways um as well but this one always works for me um so this is the one i go to